All right, shall we carry on? Yep. Do we Even have to? Even though yeah. some of these men claim to believe in God, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're believers in the one true creator revealed in the scriptures, or that they're genuine Christians. However, when atheists use theists or agnostics to promote their godless agenda, they're being dishonest. Then again, coming from those who claim that morality is relative to each person, convenient dishonesty should not be a surprise. Lundy, you can take that one. <laughs> irony, irony. Oh, well, Ray, I'm sorry, but um, there are some of us who do believe in an objective morality. And guess what? Those of us who believe in objective morality would say that you just now were... Are, you just did one of the most horrible fucking things that you could possibly do in trying to appeal to this emotional state of people by re referencing I, I I can't even I can't even the amount of despicable crap that I just saw happen from Ray just can't even I, I can't even describe it without going into a, a fit of rage. You, you cannot even possibly claim any sort of level of moral high ground when you're doing a video of this level. If your goal is to convince people that you're right and you appeal to negative emotions and you appeal to, to fear and you appeal to depression and you use people's depression and you use people's fears and you use that to try and convince people that you're right, you are a dick. Pure and simple. These are ineffective tools that you are currently utilizing to try and score a point. And for most of us who actually fucking know better, you're not scoring any points. So you're a failure in that sense, and you're also in a, fail a failure in the sense of anybody who's trying to exhibit any sort of actual morality. You are not doing anything that is conducive towards your goals. You're not a logical person. You're not a ra reasonable person. You're not a person that anybody should take seriously ever. And if anybody disagrees with that, I believe that this video pretty much demonstrates why. That's an epic rant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I genuinely applaud you, sir. He, he just outranted you, pumpkin. <laughs> I will admit my rant was full of hatred and confusion. That was one that, if spontaneous, was well thought out and articulated. Yeah. Lundy, I raise my glass to you, sir. Thank you very much. Let's carry on. <sighs> Fuck Ray. Fuck him so hard. Believe in moral absolutes? I don't want any STDs. No, is rape <laughs> wrong? Rape is wrong in our culture, yes. And it is rape always wrong? Uh, it depends on your beginnings. If you say that you have a respect for other human beings, Yes, rape is always wrong. Uh, so again. I think there, Lundy. <laughs> okay, yeah, you will find plenty of atheists who are who have pretty much allowed themselves to be pulled into this notion of completely and totally relative morality. That, eh, well, it's not it's not wrong for this guy. It's not wrong for this guy. You'll find people. You'll find atheists who think that the law is equivalent to morality. You'll find atheists who think that we aren't allowed to tell people that they're wrong uh, because they think differently from us. But here's the thing, Ray. Even if you were to go with subjective morality, even if you were to go with the meta-ethical view of subjectiveness, I can still make an argument against rape. I can still make an argument against murder, against genocide, against all these different things. It's not very hard to do. All I have to say is, well, yeah, they think it's right, but it doesn't matter to me. And it won't matter to anybody else who we would generally consider to be a moral person. Even if we all simply allow the notion that subjectively, yeah, murder and rape and all these things are bad, even if we just allow that that's just totally a subjective thing and there's no actual basis in reality for it outside of our, uh, outside of our arbitrary opinion, even if we were to go with that, even if we go that far, you can still make the argument that those things are still wrong to those people. And if those things are still wrong to those people, then what exactly is the error being made here? What's the problem? What exactly do you have a problem with? That people still think that these things are wrong despite the fact that they believe in a subjective morality is that something that you that you hate would you rather everybody think that these things are totally in, are totally okay obviously you don't so when you're trying to say that for instance somebody says that rape is right to another person they're not saying that rape is right to them clearly they're saying well i think it's wrong those those people think it's right i personally think that we should put those people in jail that's all that needs to be said if you're not satisfied with that please tell me what exactly you need to be satisfied because personally i think that you have completely and utterly disassociated yourself with 
any sort of notion of actual substantial philosophical content when it comes to meta ethics when you actually reduce subjectivism to well it's just everyone's opinion and nothing morality doesn't really matter it matters to people ray and in a subjectivist context that's all that matters and to he, he won't be satisfied point. with anything other than an invisible wizard said so well and i'm going to and i would just ask the question mm -hmm. well what the fuck does that matter exactly I would like just to take a bit further from Lundy's. Um, if it is all, as Ray would say, subjective and therefore everything is permitted, could I point out that, well, in the past, and when I say the past, I don't mean five minutes ago, I mean back in the days of the cavemen, rape may have been a part of the culture and it may have been needed to keep the gene pool diversified. You may have had to go raid another village or cave and take the women away. You know, that would be okay in that context because that would be continuing the species without incest. However, now, considering that there are, what, 7.1 billion people on the planet, considering the vast population of the world, that is not needed anymore. And the fact that it is such a violent and disgusting thing, many, many people, to the point where it's left to no one but psychos and sociopaths, only they would view it as right. And generally, even they're fucking disgusted by it. It has evolved to the point in the context where so many people see it as wrong that some people may even say it's objectively wrong. And I would point out that no, it is subjectively wrong, but it's still fucking wrong. Regardless of whether or not you want to call it subjective or objective, we're still in agreement that it's wrong. So really, it's just an argument over what to call point. it. Exactly. Yeah. And it speaks to how much our morality has evolved, ironically, over the centuries that we can just, that, you know, it's just something that we instantly see as wrong, that we just know it's, well, that we, that we just see as completely and utterly immoral, whereas Pumpkin said back hundreds of, hundreds of years ago, it wasn't seen as such a big deal. Yeah, um, I... One thing I would kind of like to point out to Ray in that context, slavery, hmm, let's have a gander at that. Wasn't that endorsed by the Bible and by Bible-toting rednecks back in the day when people were talking about the rights for black people and the end to slavery back in America? Oh no, wait, that was objectively wrong, but no one paid attention to it. Mm, oh, isn't there some... With a oh, rape. speaking of rape, doesn't the Bible have some... Mm, questionable things to say about that subject. Oh no, yeah. that's one of the passages that's open to interpretation and shouldn't be taken literally because clearly when God was talking then, he was being metaphorical. Okay, shall we carry on? Sure. Um, yeah, just okay. to let everyone know, we are 21 minutes into the 38, so we're actually making good time on this one. Hmm. So, oh, let's carry on. Absolute is rape. Absolutely wrong. In my opinion, it is. Who makes the rules? We do. So if Hitler made the rules and he had the majority... Oh, God. No, we make the rules, not one guy. Can I also, can I also add that I'm actually kind of impressed. But uh, we're 21 minutes into this film and we've only... Only just uh, upheld Godwin's law. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good, actually. For Ray, that's a fuck. I think that is actually a record. Well yes. done, uh, Ray. You've almost dropped down a notch of retardation. <laughs> However, uh, you did jump up about twelve a few minutes ago, so yeah. don't hold it too highly. Here's the small miracles, I guess. Well, he's shown more restraint than Venom Fang X did. I'll say that. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. I don't think anyone could beat Venom Fang X's record for Godwin's Law. Yeah, true. But if it, but if we also were to, well, I don't know. I think I think I know where he's going with this. But yeah, the way Hitler did things was very non-productive to society as a whole. And also, so. can I point out that I think it was Marty that said that it isn't just one person who makes it; it's us. Yeah, exactly. Um, this, this, yeah, this is... I mean, back in the days of monarchy and, you know, monothe I was about to say monotheistic rule, 
mono rule where it would just be one single ruler or maybe a family of rulers and they would say no we should tax the peasants and the peasants would say no fuck you and your taxes i want to live yeah that was a few people trying to make laws that the majority of people disagreed with so in that context your argument has just flown up its own ass right yeah, I mean, this is very similar to people who look at perhaps the United States economy as being an economy that works on its own. We live in a world economy. There's a lot of other people to consider when it comes to that kind of stuff. It's the same thing when it comes to morality. Yeah, Hitler made the laws in Germany. The vast majority of the world disagreed with those laws. And there were plenty of people in Germany that disagreed with those laws. There were plenty of people who were in the SS that disagreed with those laws. That it's disagreed almost... with them. It's almost like a lot of people disagreed with it so much they went to war with Hitler. No, yeah. that didn't happen. Clearly I can't imagine. I, I I can't imagine what we actually do to solve a problem. <laughs> think that another country is committing atrocities to uh, not only their own people but other countries. What do we do in that context? Do we just let them do it and say, "Oh, well, that's just their opinion. They're allowed to hold their opinion," or do we? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, pick up guns and tell them to go fuck themselves. Is that what we do? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. 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 Okay. Shall we carry on? Sadly. Yep. And also yes. note he's interviewing PZ Myers about morality and <laughs> I know I'm not saying PZ is not immoral, but PZ Myers he's not a philosopher. Can I also point out that no, while I don't not. think PZ Myers is immoral, I do think he's a cunt. <laughs> or we shall carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Rules, that, yes, we would be living in a society that uh, Hitler would consider moral, but which I would not consider moral. Did Hitler put into practice survival of the fittest? No. No. What was he doing then? No. He was murdering people. That's survival of the fittest. No, that's not survival no. of the fittest. It is. It's the lion no. in the... Survival of the fittest God. doesn't count for gas chambers and guns, you stupid fucking New Zealand living... Haha, <laughs> got it in that time. Fucker. <laughs> He, he, he's, he's completely he's completely butchered what survival of the fittest means. Survival of the fittest does not actually mean survival of the strongest. It means survival of the fittest organism for that environment. It can you mean know? survival of the smartest organism, the one that can outrun or outthink its predators, the yeah. sneakiest one which can hide away. It doesn't just mean the big burly fucker sitting in the back going, a feci, a feci. We'll fucking kill you. We'll fight you. And even still, even still, even if you were to take Ray at that alone, it wasn't still survival of the fittest. It was just murder. He just killed the people he didn't like. It, these people may have been a lot stronger than him. Uh, from the photos, Hitler looked like a little wimp. So, yeah. He was a pushy. Okay. He was, he was a little bitch. Shall we carry on? Yes. Uh, must. No, there's much more to evolution than just this kind of crude kill and be killed model that you have in your head. But I have seen a, a quote from Richard Dawkins saying evolution in its rawest is incredibly cruel. It is. Yes. yes. Is Hitler putting evolution into practice? Uh, no. That does not mean it was moral. No. Nobody that does doesn't moral. follow. Uh, nobody's <sighs> Fuck you, Ray. So, so, Both so, are crew. Ray. They're pretty the same. Ray, you, you silly fuck. Um, do you want? Do you not understand that even if somebody were to completely and utterly be, uh, be accept evolution and think that it's a wonderful, awesome thing in like every single way, um, that it still would not logically follow that to that person it must then be moral to um, incorporate that in any sort of societal way? Do you not understand that's called a naturalistic fallacy? Yeah. That just because something is the way it is doesn't mean it ought to be that way? Even if your conception of survival of the fittest was in fact what it was, that in no way entails that that's supposed to be inflicted on people arbitrarily by, not, by people who are acting of their own accord. Natural things happen the way they are. We have the ability to act in our, of our own accord outside of simply what natural... Um, mechanisms force us to do. Uh, we can survive, and that's not something that is entirely without our control. We can, of course, do plenty of things concerning that. But regardless, it doesn't matter because 
if something is the way it is, it does not follow it ought to be that way. Uh, also, to yeah. carry on from that, we can make books on shitty films <laughs> like this. Fuck, we're doing this on computers on Skype. Is any of this a natural occurrence in nature? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, maybe the ants in their little colonies have little computers, but, you know, <laughs> they haven't got the proper broadband. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Their Wi-Fi is shit. I tried to t- I tried to take an Ant Hill's Wi-Fi one time, and it just it just didn't work out. There was for me. nowhere to plug in the USB for the connector. <laughs> it was just a nightmare. Right, shall we carry on? Well, in fairness, though, this vid- this video is uh, this fi- this film is proof that baboons can make uh, YouTube videos. <laughs> right, spin on. I mean that evolution is a moral process. Evolution is a very harsh and cruel process. Do you believe in evolution? Yes, I do. You have a dog? Yes. Love your dog? I do love my dog. Yes, I do. I love animals. Okay. Well, your pet dog and your rotten neighbor are drowning. You'd only save one of them. Who would you save? Hmm. That is a tough one. Ray! You can only save... Saving either one is a good thing. It doesn't matter who they decide they're going to save, be it the dog or the human. Yeah, many humans would say that they would save the other human. I understand where you're going with this, that we value humans above other species, but that's something that you generally find within social creatures like what humans are. That's what, what point could you possibly make with this? You can't. Nothing you ma- no point you can make with this will necessarily follow from that question and the answer, therefore. I would actually like to point out that while I've never seen my dog do it, I'm pretty sure he can swim. <laughs> yeah. Shall we also, have- also uh, to be fair, I'm a vegan. Uh, I think animals are, uh, if not just as precious, almost as precious as human life in the first place. So... If I were to say, for instance, that I would save the dog, then what exactly would you say? That I'm a monster because I saved one creature and I could not save the other in time for them to not drown? No, I don't think anybody would actually find a whole lot of fault with me saving up one. The fact that I saved anyone, I think, is enough for people to go, oh, yeah, you tried. You did what you could. Uh, but and in response to that, I would just like to say later when I'm eating my burger, I'll be thinking of you. <laughs> <laughs> Murderer! <laughs> right, so shall we carry on? 